right, so this might be the most fun guitar I've played in a long time for 250 bucks. It's really fun. It's just a pointy piece of wood with two cheap pickups in it and some cheap stuff in it. Um, I'm going to need to do a little bit. Well, I haven't done any setup on it, so I don't. The intonation is not 100% perfect. Neck relief needs to be adjusted a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of fret buzz at the 12th fret, so I just want to check that those couple things out, a little setup stuff. Despite the neck being sort of ugly because it's got a bunch of knots in it, uh, it's really good. There's no f sharp fret edges. It plays great. The action is, I mean, it's once I finish setting it up, it's going to be great. I haven't adjusted pickups or anything. So the thing about cheap guitars is, as long as you have a good bass to start with, as long as the neck is good, really, that's all that really matters, and it's together and it's in one piece, then we have a great bass to do lots of mods to. Uh, to me, as long as the neck is good, that's all I care. All this stuff does, like this, the only mods the body needs is stickers, I think. I think it just needs some stickers. Uh, but this thing is fantastic. I don't see why anybody shouldn't go buy a $250 Jackson V put some stickers on it and just play it. Now that being said, that means if you're gonna do it and play it dirty because this guitar doesn't sound amazing clean. Did you see me just grab for the tone knob there? That's like instinct. Like I want more tone knob. Like I want it to be shimmery on the top. I want it to have nice clarity. If you've watched any of my videos for any period of time, you'll know that that's the thing that I want out of guitar. So it doesn't have a lot of highs to it. it. Sounds like a bass guitar. Actually, what would really be funny is if you took this guitar and like went and played like a adult contemporary gig at like some fancy restaurant on a Sunday afternoon and I think you could get some pretty sweet like jazzy kind of sounds out of it because who needs a tone knob if you're playing jazz but that's not what this guitar is for although that would be really fun to just you know buck the trend this is what this guitar does the best.
yeah, this is super fun. Super fun guitar, I think. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about it, except for, obviously, the pickups you get for a $250 guitar makes sense. But other than that, everything seems to be fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put, we're going to put EMG Zach Wilds in it. Uh, and, obviously, do a video about EMGs, that sort of stuff. And then we're just going to give it away. What's kind of, <laughs> what's kind of crazy about this one is, uh, this is my going to be my first guitar that I give away that's not going to have any of my stuff in it. Which is sort of sort of weird, but also sort of fun. Um, before we get that far, though, I'm making a set of pickups today uh, that I want you to hear before we do the EMG things. And they're passive pickups. I'm making them, and I want you to tell me what you think of them. So let me get those made today, and then you'll probably see tomorrow. Um, maybe we'll put those pickups in this guitar tomorrow and we will we'll give them a shot I like them they're kind of weird they're a little different than what I normally build so just stay tuned for that and I think you're gonna dig them well before we go I figured I'd go over some fewer comments since these live things and um, we're gonna get back to them it's just the places we've been staying the last couple weeks and I think this week and next week are gonna make it a little bit tough uh, and this daily vlogging thing has made it a little bit tough to do the live stuff. But we're going to get back to that because I actually like doing that better. Um, so maybe the end of the week we'll talk about how this whole daily video thing has affected what I think I want to do in the future for content. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna, we're going to go over a couple of viewer questions. Um, I want to just show you this is where we're staying for this next couple weeks. It's not too terrible, huh? It is a lake in Georgia, and uh, I think after we're here, then we're going to try to go somewhere cooler because it's starting to get warm here. So, let's go over some viewer questions. Okay. Let's see. I'm just having coffee. It's early in the morning, actually. All right. Uh, let's see. I have a standard, let's see, I have a telly that has Mexican standard pickups in it. I see most bridge pickup replacements drop in with a metal base plate and it acts as the string bridge ground. My Mexican bridge pickup has an eyelet that's looped into the bridge pickup height screw and is pressed against the bridge with rubber tubing. Is there a more secure way to mount my bridge? He says when he lowers his pickup it loosens everything up and it makes it to where the he loses string ground. And I've had that problem before. Um, so. And he was asking, and then he asks, is there any way of um, replacing that or fixing that? Here's the problem, is if you were to just put a metal base plate on the bottom of a Mexican Tele pickup, um, it's really going to mess with it because they wind those and use ceramic magnets to make it, to make up for the fact that they're cheaper, if that makes sense. A lot of those um, pickups like that, where they don't put a steel base plate on the bottom like they're supposed to, um, will then wind the pickup super hot, which makes it kind of flat and gross, and then they'll put ceramic magnets on it to try to brighten it back up. It's Or a combination of something like that. And so if you put a steel base plate on the bottom, it's going to make that thing sound like a tin can. Um, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. Uh, hit me up if you want to try a pickup, because... Um, We've got something that would drop right in there. It'd be pretty easy. Uh, but I think, I mean, replacing the pickup might be the best thing. You could just cut a the other, Here's the cheap way out. If you want to just get away with that space or in there, just go ahead and grab some rubber tubing and just cut any rubber tubing. It doesn't matter. Um, and just cut a little bit longer piece so that it smashes a little bit. Or you could stack you know, some, some little washers in there or something to take up that space and make it smash against the pickup a little bit more. Uh, that, that might work also. Dylan, I got in the habit, this is an older question, but for some reason it popped up on my feed. Um, I got in the habit of plugging my amp into one wall and my pig hog cable, nine cable adapter into another wall. Regardless of which amp I use, I only have the minor standard amp hum. Based on what I just heard, this is a ground loop situation. He goes on to talk about how his guitar is actually not that loud. It's, it doesn't make that much noise except for with certain pedals. Um, you may not have a ground loop just because you're plugged into one outlet here and one outlet over there. If they're on the same circuit, 
for example, um, it's possible that you would have that. You would have no ground loop at all. What can happen and what can cause a ground loop is when you have an appliance that draws tons of current on one outlet in the same circuit and then one that doesn't. So like let's say you have your amp plugged in and it's just plugged in by itself on a circuit and then you have your pedal board plugged in with the same circuit that like your refrigerator or your microwave is on and then when you run your microwave you get more noise. That would be a situation where you would want to try to find a different place to plug that thing in so that you're not sharing it with some kind of high amp draw um, you know thing uh, let's see oh I wanted to address this couple next couple questions this is on our cheap guitar the V the one we just played um, he says this is such a cool idea it's exactly the same dilemma I or it is exactly the dilemma I have but not that I can't always afford a better guitar, but that I'm not good enough to warrant it. I'm starting to do my own small mods thanks to you and giving uh, these free upgraded guitars away. Uh, anyway, he's talking about being inspired by it. For some reason, I must have cut it off. So this is something that really annoys me. Um, and it comes from Facebook groups and it comes from social media where they make these memes it's usually the old grumpy guy and he's like I bought this really expensive guitar but I actually can't play and it like makes people feel bad for or it's intended to make people feel bad for buying something that they necessarily don't deserve to have because they're not good enough or whatever that is a bunch of crap you know when I was in um, when I was in the power sports industry I used to ride motorcycles with I was the slowest one there. I'm not terrible, but I mean, the guy I rode motorcycles with, um, a lot of times, he won the Baja 1000 seven times. Um, these guys rode for factory teams. These guys were, and this dude told me one time, he said, if you ride with somebody faster, you will get faster. Don't ride with people that are slower than you because it doesn't push your skills. It doesn't push you right that's the way i look at it with guitar stuff buy whatever you want enjoy whatever you want be inspired by whatever instrument you choose and if it is an expensive guitar and you're not that good or don't deserve it then you're just always going to feel that way view it as an inspiration like what guitar inspires you to play what modification inspires you to play what work put into it inspires you to be like this is this is awesome I'm gonna pick this thing up tomorrow I mean people give me a hard time for like being against vintage instruments for example I'm not against them I think they're amazing I don't need to own them because I don't care about them I've played them enough I've had enough of them I've been around them enough I don't it, it's just not a thing that thing doesn't inspire me I don't feel that they're special I don't care about them that much however for historical significance, they're amazing. I'd love to have a couple. I'd like to have a 59 Les Paul Jr. I would love to have that guitar. I'd like to have a 75 um, Explorer, the Koa reissue of the 59. I would love to have that stuff just to say I have it and put it away and keep it. It would be awesome, but it doesn't inspire me. What inspires me is new tech, new stuff, which is really fun to me. So that's what I buy am i good enough no i'm not that great a guitar player either am i good enough to have a kemper for example no and i only use like three settings on the thing doesn't matter i enjoy it i have fun with it it inspires me to play it's all that matters that's what you should do too all right um i want to address this last question i was going to leave it alone but we got a few of them why don't you get rid of that 1984 compliance and submission mask? It's basically the equivalent of trying to stop a mosquito with a chain link fence. I always thought you were a person who would cut through the BS. Um, nobody likes wearing masks. Nobody likes being told what to do. I get it. Uh, I don't like it. However, um, I'm a nice person. And 
we don't talk about politics we don't talk about religion on this channel but I am interested in people and two things I have a business to run I have a YouTube channel to run I have videos to make I have things to do I do not spend my time sitting around on Facebook complaining about where we are in the world uh, when I'm presented with a problem or a situation that needs to be changed or an adjustment that I need to make I make it I just do I just get stuff done if I need to buy a guitar and if I have to wear a mask to go into that store I am going to do it do you not want to win that guitar do you not want me to buy that guitar do you not it's the it was the alternative that I had that day that's what I do yeah I don't like wearing them nobody likes wearing them or do they make a difference I don't know I'm not a scientist the other thing is I'm nice all I know is that if somebody around me feels uncomfortable uh, and I want to be with that person or I want to uh, I'm I'm not gonna do something just to piss somebody off I feel like a lot of people uh, are making decisions right now just to assert their rights just to whatever and I'm not that guy um, I would rather be friends with a person um, enjoy somebody's company and get stuff done um, then then make a fight about it so you know does that make me like a sheeple or something I don't think so I live in a motorhome by a lake in the woods I'm not I'm not one of those people I have done enough things to pretty much prove that I do what I want to do however one of the things I want to do is be a nice person and so if you don't agree with that that's fine you know we all have different opinions I get it um, but don't come in the comments and make you know evil comments about that stuff I, I wouldn't do it it doesn't do anything positive for the community that we're trying to build here if that makes sense so yeah there you go uh, make sure you go to dylancontest.com enter to win there uh, maybe tomorrow we'll give away the fishman influences I just wanted to give that video a few days get a bunch of comments and we'll just pick somebody and then from now on we're gonna come up with some cool stuff to give this stuff away I guess I will see you tomorrow <laughs>